Masterpieces are outstanding creations worthy of a place in history. They are the works of art we can't stop thinking and talking about. Art's meant to make a difference. These are pieces that continue to do so long after the artist is gone. I'm Lady K Flo. This is where I give you my quick takes on art pieces I call the masters. Nude in the Bath by Pierre Bonnard. Pierre Bonnard painted four versions of Nude in the Bath. It wasn't an obsession, just routine. In fact, the habit was not even his. Bonnard's wife, Martha de Maligne, loved bath time best. It was her favorite self-care ritual. She relished hours in the tub. Martha was not beloved among Bernard's friends. She was characterized as difficult and even neurotic in writings from the time. It was well known that baths served as her mental health sanctuary. Bathing's a retreat to the bare naked self, after all. But naked isn't always sexy. Even though this portrays a nude woman, it lacks sensuality. In some ways, the figures seem flat, like a rag doll. That's a dreamlike fantasy quality. It's the way she lies in the bath, flat. Melinier's body doesn't luxuriate. She sinks to the bottom like a slender stone. One detail in this particular version stands out from the other three nude in the bath paintings. The water here graces Martha's neck. To mark the separation between water and air, Bonnard uses bright flecks of light. These brushstrokes simulate jewels, so it appears a lot like a necklace. This detail grants luxury to the painting, unlike her spare and simple stick-legged body. Beloved nude in the bath. But it's not only opulence in the piece, this necklace. Bonnard pours a treasure chest of color into this painting. It's so colorful. Viewers don't need to know that the actual bathroom was stark white to see that this renders a dream. The painter gives his wife a magical bath. This indulgent lies outside the water, though. It's as if he's calling her out of nude in the bath. After all, she's in another world there. It's somewhere between consciousness and sleep. Bernard paints a color wonderland, as if to also show us why Martha returns to it so often. Some art historians point to the faceless flatness of her body as a symbol of death. But the dog's peaceful nap on the mat indicates otherwise. Canines care for their companions far too much for pup to lie in this restful state with a dead mama right there. In fact, Bernard gave us this dog to show Martha's surrounded by love. She's got this beloved pooch waiting on her mat. There's the adoring painter who draws her a color wonderland bath. Serene and still, she soaks without a care. This might be the biggest fantasy of all for nude in the bath. Bonnard honors his wife Martha with this magical world that he paints for her. Rather than concocting the typical portrait of a beauty, Nude in the Bath gives her a world of her own. Not all women care about physical beauty. Feeling appreciated, accepted, and loved 
regardless of how we look, is a higher honor. Beauty takes work, and even after all that toil, it still fades. But the true value of a woman lies within. Pierre Bonnard knows this. He needn't put Martha's face in nude in the bath to show us her value. Nor does he sexualize her body. Instead, he builds her an enchanting space, all her own, in Martha's favorite place. This bathroom's like a mini Taj Mahal. It's hard to imagine a way to honor your beloved's bath time more than making it into a masterpiece. Here we find Pierre Bonnard nude in a bathtub. And here he is painting his wife, Martha. She used to take baths all the time. They had a white bathroom. So you can imagine he was using quite a bit of fantasy and magic here, this luminescent, colorful place. He doesn't even try to make it seem like he's trying to portray something real. The way that he has her drawn in the tub, that's pretty much physically impossible. And the way that all these colors, there's nobody who would have a bathroom this colorful. It makes it so much fun. It's like he wants to give her a pleasure dome to take her baths in. He even made her little dachshund on the bath mat look like a charming little fantastical creature. But we can still recognize that he's a dachshund. Nude in the bath, FAQs. What was French painter Pierre Bonnard known for? Bonnard was known to paint from memory. This contributes to the dreamy quality of his work. In fact, this quality permeates the painting Nude in the Bath. Why are Pierre Bonnard's Nude in the Bath paintings important? His quartet of Nude in the Bath paintings broke ground at the time. Bonnard painted them during the period from 1936 to 1946. During this decade, it was avant-garde to make luminous, fantastical portraits of such a banal setting. Where can I see Pierre Bonnard's nude in the bath in person? This particular version of the series was Bonnard's very last nude in the bath. It was painted from 1941 to 1946. Today, it's part of the permanent collection at the Carnegie Museum of Art in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The address is 4400 Forbes Avenue, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Is Nude in the Bath an Impressionist painting? This painting may feel like Impressionism, but it is a post-Impressionist painting. In fact, it fits more into the avant-garde category. That's partly because of the sensational take it has on an insipid setting. It's also due to Bernard's unusual use of memory rather than modeling for his portrait. Masterpieces are written and recorded by Lady K-Flow. If you like this podcast and want to hear more like it, the greatest compliment you can give is to tell a friend. And subscribe to Lady K-Flow on Apple, Google, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks. Visit LadyKFlo.com for all the goods. That's L-A-D-Y-K-F-L-O dot com.